Welcome back. Every day there is a line of people filling in the stands behind me, and it's not for our show. I wish I could say it was, but it's for a different show that's making friends like this guy we have here. Our very own Taylor Jacobs checks in on who's making all the noise and what's happening. All right, everybody, Better Western Mass rolling on now. This is Dave here with the DL Weatherhead and Timberworks Lumberjack Show. We are right at the beginning of the Avenue of the States, and you guys are really putting it on. I see a crowd every single day behind our Better Western Mass set, and they're forming for you. What time are you performing? We have shows every day of the fair at 12, 3, and 7. And what are some of the things you're doing? You're doing axe throwing? Doing a little axe throwing. We're doing some chopping, some sawing, some speed climbing, log rolling. We have several different events. All the events have stayed from work that the old-time lumberjacks did in the woods years ago. So they actually threw axes back well, in the day. Well, the axe throwing was more of a form of recreation. Passing the time. You want to give it a shot? Sure. All yeah. right. All right. Now, you said this is about the line you guys yeah, are giving we, it a rip we from? stand about 20 feet away from the target. All right. The target is five feet off the ground. You just take this double bit axe straight back over your head. <laughs> right at the bullseye. I've, Stare at the bullseye. <laughs> And that's all there is to it. You haven't got a bullseye out for anybody else, have you, Dave? <laughs> I haven't got a bullseye in a few days. <laughs> At least it's on camera. You're going to want to save this one. All right. Uh, if I get this, what do I get? You get bragging rights. Bragging rights. I dig it. So both hands together kind of like yep, this, right? Nice, just like easy that. Grip. Yep. And, and then it's just one motion it's going to make. Back over your head and just let it glide out of your hands at the bullseye. All right. Nice follow. -up. One step. There it is. Yeah. That's my weekend, folks. Weekend. It's on the board. You saw it all. But it's not just axe throwing that you got heading here. Like you said, you're cutting wood as well. Yeah, you know, we, we have a pair of old time cross cut saws. Who can get through the log the fastest? These competitions have been around for well over 100 years, and uh, we're just keeping it alive. Let's go check it out. All right. Another feature of the show, it's not just throwing axes. What is this called here? This is the single butt cross cut saw. We have a pair of five foot M tooth saws. That's the tooth pattern on the saw. The rules are pretty simple. The first one to get all the way through the log is gonna win the point. Who you got? I got Andrew O'Connell from Buffalo, New York. I got Chester Isaacson from Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin. Andrew, Chester, I'm told you got about 10 seconds to do this thing. On your marks, get set, go. There they go. The audience can cheer them on. We got two logging caps. The first one through the log wins the point. Uh oh, you were right. He's pouring on the steam wow. over here. Just was not far behind. Not far behind. There it goes. Impressive, fellas. Look at those veins. You're so pumped up. Now get on that log. Show me how you run on that thing. The log rolling came about from the days of the river drive years ago when the men had to float the logs down the river to deliver them to the sawmills. They became very good at, at balancing on these logs. Last guy on the log wins. Really? The rules are pretty simple. That's you got a right. favorite in this one as well? No, I don't. Both of these guys are excellent log rollers. So come on over and see the show and see who the winner is. There it is. There it is. Everybody. 12, 3, and 7. 12, 3, and 7 every day. All the way through Sunday, folks. The Big E coming to a close. You're not going to want to miss this show. Come check it out. Beginning of the Avenue of the States. Taylor Jacobs with a broken hand and an axe in his hand. I don't know about that. I'm glad you're in the studio now, Taylor. Their show actually just wrapped up. Everyone left, but they will be back again, as they mentioned, at 3 and 7. So if you're heading to the fair earlier today, check them out. Talk about skill. Look at this little guy. So detailed. We love that. And come